Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Mamad Kamal Hussain, content creator, Triangular Kamal Academy. Today, I'm going to solve here 21 first week math assignment for the students of standard seven. And this is for English version students. Uh, here, assignment number five from the chapter 11, data and information. Uh, the content related with the frequency distribution table, histograms, and actually not the median or mode. Okay, Mahi is a student of class seven. Uh, she reads magazine regularly and collects the necessary data. In each day of November, the number of people affected by COVID-19 as follows. So there are uh, there are total 30 data are given each day COVID-19 patient number of COVID-19 affected people in each day of the November. So according to these topics, there are two questions. First question A, what kind of data is collected by Mahi? So definitely you have to answer what types of data here. And write the difference between these types of data and primary data. So definitely uh, the requirement is the difference between these types of data. So it must be the secondary data and now you have to find the difference between them. Second question, find the mode of the collected data by drawing histogram from the frequency distribution table. Another most important question here. Okay, let's see the answer. Assignment solution, first question, what kind of data is collected by Mahi? Write the difference between these types of data and primary data. So uh, dear students, answer to the question number one here. This information that Mahi collected is called the secondary data or indirect data. And she doesn't collect information directly, but collects informations from the newspaper, which is secondary source. This information may not be 100% accurate as it is collected from a third party. So here newspaper is a third party. So secondary data is not uh, more reliable than the primary data because it's collected from the third party. So we are not sure about the informations here. So now question number one is set down. Second question, find the mode of the collected data. There is a one requirement, mode. Another requirement is drawing histograms and from the frequency distribution table. Especially there are total three requirements. First requirement, mode. Another requirement, histogram. And another requirement, frequency distribution table. So there are total three requirements in a question B. Step by step, you have to answer all questions. So now, uh, given data as follows. This is the, in 30 day November, these informations are given here. So now, right, the data in ascending order. Ascending means smaller to greater. So uh, here, the highest, uh, lowest value is 10, that means smallest, and the highest value is 34. Now, we know the formula of range. Highest value minus lowest value plus one. This is the formula finding range. So now from the data, put the here value. Highest value is 34, lowest value is 10, and the formula plus one. 24 plus one is 25. So uh, now we have to find the number of classes. And number of classes completely dependent on the class interval. Here the class interval is not given. Uh, usually, if the class interval is not given, we used here 5 or, or 10 or 15. 5 or 10 or 15. It's completely dependent on the given data. If the data is large scale, greater than 50, then usually we use here 10. But the here data is only 25. So uh, we can consider as a class interval is 5. So now we have to find the number of classes. Now there is another formula finding the number of classes. Number of classes means the range divided by class interval. So here our range is 25 divided by five and answer is five. 
so now that means there will be total total there will be five row and one row for the title so one row for title and five row for the body part so there are six another row for the writing summary or the total so another row so now just make a box including here eight row so now right here uh, there is frequency distribution uh, class interval telemers and the frequency so here you have to write the uh, information if we count the number uh, 10 to 14 there are total six data six data in the telemers we write usually like this the five then plus one and 15 to 19 just count here okay just let me know uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so 14 to uh, 10 to 14, there are total six data. There are total six data. In the same way, we can count here 15 to 19, there are total four data. 20 to 24, there are total 10 data. So now, first we can write here five. Then five plus four, uh, five plus five, there is total 10. And 25 to 29, there are four data. 30 to 34, there are total six data. So five plus one, this five symbol in the telemers like this. So for now, total just do add six plus four, 10, 10 plus 10, 20, 20 plus four, 24 plus six, 30. So they are total 30. That means all informations now available here. This is called the frequency distribution table. So now in the frequency distribution table, what we see? There is, there is a gap in between highest value of the first class interval and the lowest value of the second class interval. They are is a 14 and there is 15. So difference is one. The highest value of the first class interval and the lowest value of second class interval, there is a difference. So they have no connectivity between them. So now we have to write this class interval as a continuous. This is not continuous. So now we have to convert this one into the continuous. Continuous in times, uh, this the lowest value will be five less. Lowest value will be the five point uh, five less. There will be nine point five, and the highest value, highest value fourteen, and then add. 0.5. So there will be 14.5. So in the same way, just write each and every class interval. The lowest value minus 0.5 and highest value plus 0.5. Now what we see here, uh, this is the highest value of the first class interval. And this is the lowest value of second class interval and they are similar. 14 point, so they are similar means they are connected. Where the first class interval is completed and the second class interval will start it exit from the point because they are connected. Where the second class interval is completed and third class interval will start it from that point because they are connected and this is called the continuous class interval. So I think now continuous class interval uh, done. Now, by using this continuous class interval, we have to draw histogram. And now you have to explain about the histogram and how you have done this. The placing continuous class interval in X axis and frequency in Y axis. I'm repeating, continuous class interval must be in X axis, frequency in Y axis. But the, a histogram has been drawn. Considering each small square length in X axis is one unit, in Y axis, two square length is one unit. So I will discuss it properly. In the figure, broken part indicate up to 9.5. So figure shown in the graph paper. Okay, let me clear this figure here. Everyone, we started Okay, in the figure, we start in the this is X changing the color. Uh, this is X O X prime. This is in the short form. This one is called X axis. 
and the y o y prime in short form this one is called y axis so this is x axis this is y axis two axis intersect each other at the point o which is called origin now our class interval is started from 9.5 and completed at 34.5 so there is another the same unit we can write no problem so now we started from 9.5 this is called the broken part this is called the broken part 0 to 0.9.5 so this broken part indicate up to 9.5 so uh, this is called the square length of each square one is square length one is square length two is square length there is a three square length so this is called the square length so now here one is square two is square three is square four is square five is square so for five each is square length considering one but in y axis one two three four that means four for two so there will be uh, two to the four so two is square length considering as a one in y x square in y axis two is smallest square length considering one so for two there will be total four square length for four there will be total eight for six there will be total 12 and for eight there will be total 16 because two square length considering one in y axis but x axis each square length considering one so now 9.52 14 this interval up to six okay let me see here okay this class interval up to six this class interval second class interval up to four third class interval up to 10. Okay, now in the same way, uh, first class interval up to six, second class interval up to four, third class interval up to 10, fourth class interval up to four, then finally, fifth interval up to six. So now histogram is done. Frequency in Y axis, class interval in X axis. So now another requirement, find the mode from the figure. In times of mode, you have to identify which is the mode class. Mode class means in the class, in the class where the frequency is highest. This class is frequency. Here the frequency is 10. In this class interval, frequency is 10. Okay, see the figure again. Here the highest frequency is 10, which is in this class interval. So definitely mode will be placed. Mode will stay here. Mode will stay 19.5 to 24.5 in this class interval because here the frequency is the maximum. So now how we have to find the mode from the figure? First, so first we have to identify the mode class, which is 19.5 to 24.5. Now, from the left uh, top corner, top corner of the previous previous class interval, top corner of the previous class interval to the top right corner of the mode class interval, joined a line. And top left corner of the uh, mode class to the top left corner of the next class interval. And now join the two line. There will, there will, you will get here intersecting point of the two lines. Just uh, changing the color, we can identify intersecting point of the intersecting point of the two lines. So now draw a perpendicular line along the from the intersecting point. This line passes to the midpoint of 19.5 and 24.5. So there is the middle of the middle of the range that means this is called the mode this is called the mode so by using the diagram we can see here indicate this is the mode so now uh, the identifying the mode from the histogram is done so dear students i hope now your concept is very clear about the mode and this is your common sir uh, my request to all of you please subscribe my channel and hope to see you all in the next assignment and wish you all the best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.